All right, today we're going to be doing another Lord of Sequelite challenge. And the challenge that I'm going to be doing today is going to be called Succumbus. So with this challenge, it seems to be a bit tricky because this time we're not giving an apostrophe. This time apostrophe is being, uh, for the most part, being filtered out. So if we just do, because we're giving two variables to pass in, ID and PW. Which these are the two. So if I do ID is equal to apostrophe, we get, it gets filtered out. So gonna have to find a way to make a sql query that is true because it's not looking for if id is equal to am and i think it's just looking for if it's just a true statement at all so what we can do for the most part is uh try making a true statement but we need to find a way to bypass this because how we've been doing our queries if you guys remember so far it's been doing pw is equal to apostrophe and then we do an or statement and then we do true or like uh or one equals one because we want to make it true and then like we comment something out but if we do that like I said before, the apostrophe gets uh, gets caught. So we can't use apostrophe. So we know we still have to do, uh, we can't use the apostrophe, but we can still use the or, or we could just do or true, and then we can just comment something out. All right, uh, let's do this. Something like this. So this is still valid, but we need to find a way to, I guess a way to comment all of this out or like find a way to get bypass this so one way we could get bypass this if you guys didn't know is by simply adding a backslash and id and i'm going to tell you guys how that works for the most part so if you look at right here oh, i have this statement right here so i'll just copy this on my sql editor so you guys could be able to see it like on real time so if you go check right here and if i just uh, press try it yourself we can see this right here so Right, right here we have this a similar statement that we have, but this time I'm just using uh yeah, so we have a similar statement right here, but if you see what I do right here for the most part, is that uh let's just change this to uh this, control C, control V, and then if we just go right here. So if you see right here, this is treated as a string because like you see the color, it's like a different color. It's red. I'm not sure if it's that noticeable. What if I increase it? Okay, so we see right here that this color is seen as red. So that means it's a string and then there's a string right here. So what we want to do is to be able to, what, what if we can make this part a string and that that's set to equal ID and then the rest of it gets run as code. Because right now it's not running as code. It's considered as a string as you can see right here. So a simple way you could do this is just by simply adding a backslash backslash right here. By simply adding a backslash, you could see that this becomes a string that's going to equal to ID and this runs as code. Reason being is because this backslash treats this quotation marks as as a string. So since this is considered this is this is considered part of the string, it's looking it's looking for a way to it's this uh I, well, I guess this, uh, what is this called? Actually, I don't even know what this, what is this actually called? An apostrophe. This apostrophe is looking for an end, and it finds the end at the beginning of this poem right here. So basically, since this is considered a string, part of the string, it's not considered the end of this apostrophe. So this is looking for an end, and it looks for the end, and it find, the first one it finds is the one that I consider a poem. So... So this entire thing is considered as a string that's set to equal to ID. But we know that this is going to be false. So since this is going to be false, it's going to run or true, the literal value of true, and then the rest of the code is commented out. This this extra, uh, what is this called? Uh, apostrophe is commented out from pwn is commented out. So if we just go right here, go back to our challenge, and we see that. And we could just simply do this, but just by adding ID is equal to ID is equal to backslash, and then we just do an ampersand uh, an symbol, and we just see here succumbus so equals clear. So that means it passes it. And if we go back right here, I have an example where it uses the exact same thing, but if you run this, it shook, it prints out everything. So that basically means it's true, and it prints out all the values, which is pretty cool for the most part. So anyway, yeah, that was about it for this challenge. For this challenge, just mostly using this backslash character to know that it's going to treat it as a string. And then after that, it treats the rest of it as regular code for the most part.
because since we escaped this part, it's it's gonna try looking for an end symbol, and it, the first end, the first time it sees a second apostrophe, is at the beginning of poem, which is about it for this challenge. Anyway, yeah, that was about it for this challenge. This was like a simple, uh, not that simple. It's kind of like a trick if you understand, I guess how how escaping works for the most part, or adding this what this bash dash character would do. But anyway. Yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Hope you guys learned something new today. And yeah, peace.